Hi there, my name is Trolls and welcome to Sound Paint. I'm so glad you could drop by and I'm so honored that you are willing to invest your time into Sound Paint. In this video here, I just quickly want to show you how you can create a user account, how you can download Sound Paint, and how you can install libraries into Sound Paint as well. As you may know, Sound Paint also comes with a free Steinway piano, so I want to start the first part of the video here by showing you how to get the engine set up and how to install the free piano into the engine. And then in the last part of the video, I'm going to show you how to purchase an instrument and get that into the engine as well. But there's not that much to talk about. Sound Paint really does most of it by itself. The second you make a purchase or a free order or have an engine update, the engine will tell you automatically and pretty much do all these things for you. So it's pretty simple, but let's get inside of the computer and I'll show it from the backside. The process for installing Sound Paint is simple. One, create an account. Two, grab whatever instruments and freebies you want. Three, check out, download and have fun. Let's set up your user account first. Let's go to soundpaint.com. First, click the download now button right here. In order to create your account, we just need your first name, last name, email, and password. Once that's done, just click right here. And you'll see here that an email has been sent with the subject, welcome to Sound Paint. All right, so this email contains download links both to the Mac and PC version of Sound Paint. I'm gonna install this one on my Mac, but the installation procedure is pretty much identical on PC. I'm gonna start by clicking here and download Sound Paint for Mac. The Sound Paint engine is super optimized. It's only about like 55 megabytes. Your browser will normally tell you when it's downloaded the file. In this case here, I'm using Google Chrome at the moment and you can see the download right here. Let's click on it. Okay, perfect. Chrome takes me directly to my downloads folder. I click on the Sound Paint app to install it and I'm met with an easy step-by-step -step guide. Read me, standard license, select where you want to install it, what formats, I'm just gonna choose AU and standalone here. You can also choose your installation directory on change install location, but I'm just gonna click install here since that normally works fine. All right, I'm just gonna type in my Apple password here to install. And the second I do that, watch how fast the engine installs. Perfect. You now have Sound Paint on your computer and the special Sound Paint downloader too. Next, let's get Sound Paint up and running. All you gotta do is to go back to your email and click the access key that was also in there. We're gonna copy paste this access key into Sound Paint to get it activated. The link in the email takes me to my user account on soundpaint.com. And just as a side note, while we're looking at your user account, you can also download your instruments from here. You can check your orders and your invoices and all that stuff. But for now, let's get back to the access key here. Please copy paste the entire access code highlighted here, or just click this icon, which is gonna do the same. Okay, now let the fun begin. Let's go back and get Sound Paint activated. I go to my applications folder, locate Sound Paint. You'll notice both Sound Paint and the Sound Paint downloader is installed. The downloader is a separate application, but the Sound Paint engine will automatically open it for you whenever you need it. I'm just gonna grab the Sound Paint icon here and drag it into my dock. Perfect. All right, let's click on it. Sound Paint will first greet you with a login screen here. Please copy paste the access key from earlier or just click here, forget your key in case you missed the copy paste. I'm just gonna paste the code here and click login. Sound Paint immediately tells me that there are new instruments available and if I want to download them. As you may know, Sound Paint comes with one of the most famous scoring pianos used in thousands of movies and TV shows, top 40 and video games. This piano is my personal piano. It's a vintage Steinway Grand from 1928. The strings are still original, so it has a really soulful vibe to it. I totally encourage you to just try it and feel the magic of 127 real-time generated velocity layers. You immediately feel it on the keys. All right, so let's get that downloaded first. I'm gonna click down here on the green yes icon. Sound Paint immediately opens its downloader and offers you to download the instrument right away. If you've purchased any new instruments, they're also gonna show up here. I'll show that in a minute. But let's just click on download for now and grab the 1928. I click download and I'm prompted to where I wanna install it. As I mentioned earlier, Sound Paint lets you install on as many internal and external drives as you want. We highly recommend using solid state drives for Sound Paint as the engine is specifically super optimized for solid state drives. It works fine on older drives, but there's virtually no load times on faster SSDs. I'm just gonna install it here for now. I click install library to this folder. 
the download is beginning. I'm getting about 55 megabytes per second. So the piano is gonna take about two minutes to download. And Sound Paint will automatically download, uncompress, and install the piano for me. That goes for all instruments. So once the download is over, you're set and good to go. I'm just gonna click the green icon here and we are set. And if I click here, we can see all the available programs in it. But if for whatever reason you don't see the piano here, you can also set it up manually. Let's go up here and click on the settings icon. Go to library management and click manage library directories. Let's click it. This is where you can set up your instruments manually in Sound Paint. I'm gonna click add directory here and locate the piano we just installed. Just click open. You'll see the path for the piano here. I'm gonna go down here and click full rescan. And very briefly, you're gonna see a little bee come home to its hive just for a second. And there it is, the 1928, ready to go. And this is how you install Sound Paint. One, you create an account. Two, you download and install Sound Paint. And three, just download whatever instruments you want. This procedure is nearly identical when you purchase new instruments for Sound Paint. Let me just show you quickly. Let's go back to the Sound Paint website here. Since I already have a user account, I can immediately begin to purchase and download new instruments. Let me grab the 1975 Soulful guitar here, beautiful Gibson SD, and I'm gonna click Add to Cart. I'm now asked if I wanna continue shopping or checking out. Let's check out. I'm gonna choose my payment up here, and we virtually support every major payment platform, including PayPal. I'm just gonna enter my credit card here and click Pay Now. My order is being processed. And voila, my order is confirmed and I get a prompt telling me to check my email. Let's check my email. Yep, and there it is. Now, you may wonder, well, where's my download link? Well, your download is already ready. All you gotta do is to go back to Sound Paint and download it. Let's try that. I'm gonna open Sound Paint here. And sure enough, Sound Paint immediately tells me that there is a new purchase available and if I want to download it. I say, hell yeah, shall we? You'll notice that the 1975 guitar is in here. Let's download it right away. Oh, and if you ever have more than one purchase and you wanna download them all, just click down here on download all. It's that easy. All right, let me click download here and let's see how quickly this downloads in real time. I click download and ask me where I wanna install. Let's just, let's just install it here. Clicking install library to this folder. And there we go. I may not be done talking before this is even done downloading and installing and like, yeah, wow, boom, there we go. Already downloaded and installed. You may have noticed that Sound Paint also updated itself here in the background. The guitar is good to go and with virtually no load times for each program. Let me just try here. Right, it's that fast. And that's it. This is how Sound Paint works. Fast, furious, fun. And please, do not hesitate getting in contact with us if there's anything that's not working. We want to create a seamless experience for you because it makes our life easier as well. So in case you need to get a hold of us, just click down here on contact. You can hit us up on live chat, which will open a chat browser on SoundPaint directly to our support, or you can send us a good old fashioned email. And if you wanna meet like-minded users, we also have a very active Discord community you can see the link in the description here. Discord is the first place we make new announcements and actively work together with the community in developing the most requested features, discuss new instruments and ideas, and pretty much share everything Sound Paint related, demos and so forth. Anyway, I hope this little tutorial has helped you and I just want to thank you again for your time and your investment into Sound Paint. It's because of people like you that we can continue to build these new technologies, free from the wrath of the corporate world and cold investors. Sound Paint is entirely funded by you and our community, and we kind of want to keep it that way.